as the question says suppose in certain conditions only those transition are allowed to hydrogen atoms in which the principal quantum number n changes by 2 then find the smallest wavelength emitted by hydrogen and list the wavelengths emitted by hydrogen in the visible range now if this is the smallest wavelength then we need to find the maximum energy and we all know if this being the first second third energy states and so on then the maximum energy transition takes place from 1 to infinity but n change is allowed only by two units this means that the maximum energy change here can be from 1 to 3 getting my point so that is the same thing we are having n1 to be 1 and n2 to be 3 and so the energy is equals to 13.6 z square by n square z square being 1 and n square is 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square equaling to this and it is further equals to hc by lambda now friends most of the times i see people getting confused in which one is n1 and which one is n2 you just don't care about that because in any way you need this wavelength to be positive in case it comes out to be negative then there must have been your initial assumption of being positive of photon emitted or absorbed means if you have some criteria suppose positive is indicating a uh, photon absorbed and negative being photon released and lambda is coming negative it means that the photon is released so simply you just don't care about the negative sign you just make this bracket to be positive anyhow because 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9 is automatically going to be positive but if it would have been 1 by 9 minus 1 by 4 then it would have been negative the same magnitude with a negative sign so it doesn't matters you just have to make it positive and then equate it with hc by lambda because lambda needs to be positive so this gives us the value of wavelength to be 103 nanometer so this is basically the smallest wavelength emitted by the hydrogen if this restriction is put up now proceeding to the second part in which we need to find the wavelengths in visible range now friends we considered the case of 1 and 3 it is 103 less than 380 then the other two unit change can be 2 to 4 or 3 to 5 4 to 6 so if we look at the transition from 2 to 4 we have the energy to be 13.6 into 1 by 4 minus 1 by 16 and equating that with hc by lambda we get lambda to be 487 nanometers which lies in the visible range now if we calculate the wavelength of 3 to 5 transition you will observe that that comes to be greater than 780 so only this wavelength comes out to be in the visible range